Okay, assessment. Where do you get marks? Uh, in, you get marks through peer reviews. There are four of them. There, there are a total of um, 20 marks available for, through peer reviews. The first two are five marks each because they're sort of half and half. In a peer review, one team presents their work, the other team critiques. When you're finished, you swap around. Uh, the other present, you know, the reviewers present, the presenters review. There is a requirements review, and the whole idea is for you to show that you've understood what the requirements are, and you have a good way of managing the requirements. So the requirements are easy to find and update and understandable, and you can attach things to them and do all sorts of things. That's worth five marks. The, the better you do it, and the more convincing you are, the closer you get to five. Then there is a design review. So that's the system architecture, the data management, and the user interaction. That's three, three parts of the design. So you're talking about the system design overall. That's the second review. Then the last review is a delivery readiness review. A uh, scenario for that is uh, the customer's turned up, you're about to deliver it next week, and you're persuading the customer that we've done all the stuff, you know, we've constructed it, it's well constructed, the documentation is ready to go, we can deliver it to you, and it will work, and you can take it over and support it. You've got to prove that. So that was, is worth 10 marks. We have two sessions of deliverables. The first one is essentially the first half term, uh, and you deliver your um, your, um, your team formation, uh, team charter, your project plan, um, your project, uh, project management, your uh, requirements, your design, um, and that's assessed by your tutor. It's marked out of 20, uh, given 25 marks for that. Right. Now, this is an agile project your work may not be complete we understand that and that's why it's marked out of 25 and not 30 okay you you can revise it after this um, because the second you deliver the second half of term you deliver it again it's marked again and you get marks for the final thing so the end of term deliverables you assess the final de deliverable documents Okay, that is everything you've done before. So the, the, the team formation, team uh, management, the project plan, project management, um, the, re the requirements, the design, the construction, the testing, and the documentation, everything. All right, it's a lot of work. And that gets assessed by the tutor, it's worth 35 marks. The delivery readiness review, the second to last week of the term, each team presents the software's system's readiness for delivery. So the customers turn up and you're persuading them that you've finished construction, you, you've done enough testing, it's been adequately tested, and um, the bugs are under control, uh, there's not that many left, and you're going to have them all fixed by the time you deliver next week. Anyway, um, the documentation is complete, uh, they can, it's it's enough for them to take over and be able to support and maintain this system and to use it. Um, code is understandable and maintainable. All right. So that's your final review and it's worth 10 marks. In the final week, you deliver the system and your tutor will test it. And this is worth 20 marks and they will test the uh, functionality, is, is there is some functionality it must do. They will test its uh, qualities um, and they will, um, they will assess is, is it an excellent application. Uh, it's somewhat subjective but uh, clearly we, we want to encourage really good work, really slick work and we want to be able to give basically bonus marks to somebody who's done a really clever job. So that's the delivered system. Books and sources, there are no required texts. You can find information pretty much anywhere. Lectures on software development topics are available through UTS Online. Um, they're lectures like this, it, it's me doing the talking. Um, 
and you can judge whether they're any good or not, but uh, watch them as, as you choose or choose not. Or you can get your information from somewhere else. We don't mind. There, there's nothing required about the subject. So that's uh, SDP for 2017. It's uh, being run very much the same as it has been for the last few years because it seems to be a very successful way of running it. So welcome to the class and I hope you enjoy yourself.